Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're in my uh, storage slash mini workshop uh, I kind of created here to not have to always use my kitchen table to you know have tools out and work. And you know by Amsterdam standards it's a pretty decent room. I can stand in it so I definitely fit. By world standards it's probably quite small. As you can see I can't really extend my arms across I can't even extend my arms across the room. It's really, really narrow. But it fits our purposes and for what we need to do, it works. So what we're going to do today is uh, try and determine the focal length of a lens, uh, of which we know nothing, and then determine its aperture wide open. So why, I'm, why you would do this is for curiosity, for knowledge, for demonstration purposes. Uh, in my case, I'm doing it because uh, I'm working on a self-made camera. So it's a, a modified flatbed scanner that can be used as a digital sensor. And um, obviously it's much bigger than a normal camera, so all the distances are kind of different. Uh, and, I, and I'm trying to figure out um, the best lens configuration to use it and to use it uh, with some kind of knowledge. It's not just randomly hope stuff is in focus, but know what I'm using and know the details of the images I'm taking. And since I'm building the camera, I figured I might as well try and build the lens. Uh, so the starting point for this side project is going to be um, determine focal length and aperture of this uh, magnifying glass, which I bought yesterday for like five euro. And uh, hopefully it will be a good enough piece of glass uh, that's compatible with the setup I'm, I'm building. And if not, I'll be able to read small print when my eyesight gets weak. So let's start. It's really, really fairly simple. Actually, it's really, really simple. What we need is uh, a lens, obviously. We need a light source and we need a background on which the light can be projected. Now, if this were an actual scientific experiment, we, everything would be aligned and, um, you know, there wouldn't be any inclination because all that will s affect slightly what you're trying to measure. But, you know, this is just a how-to and, um, yeah, trial and error. I'll try it roughly first and if it doesn't work, I'll measure it better next time. So our light source in this case is this IKEA lamp. I just propped onto these two broken bicycle frames and facing the direction I want to I want the light to go in. And um, the background is this notepad. Yeah, there we go. So what we're going to do to calculate the focal length is hold the lens between the light source and the background. And as you can see, there's already a projection. Uh, imagine this is the sensor of your camera. So, and this is the lens, and that's your subject. So at the moment, the image is quite out of focus. What we, what we want to determine with the focal length is the distance at which, without any other settings, without, you know, uh, uh, focus adjustment or things, uh, the image will be in focus. So to do that, you simply move the lens in and out, and you try to see at what point the lens projects a focused image onto the background, which is kind of here. Yeah. So, on. now ideally, I would like to have something that can keep the lens in place while I take my measurements, but I think this will be enough. Okay, what we have now is the focal length, which we can measure in centimeters or millimeters, because that's what we use. That's a 40, 40, and that's a 8, 9, it's a 9 actually, it's closer to 9, 8 and a half, 9. So it's 49 centimeters, rounding it up or 490 millimeters, so we can write that down, not to forget. And now the next step is pretty simple. What we want to do is 
measure the diameter of the, of the glass element. So to do this, there really doesn't need to be an instruction. It's roughly 9 centimeters. So, you can write that down too, or 90 millimeters. And, um, so our focal length is 490 millimeters. That's the distance at which the image is focused. And um, what now we need to do to determine the aperture of this lens, uh, wide open, let's suppose it had a diaphragm or something, so this lens with this diameter will have an aperture of the focal length divided by the diameter of the, of the glass. So let's quickly see what that adds up to. And we have 490 millimeters divided by 90 millimeters. That's an aperture of 5.4. So this is a starting point. Once, uh, once, you, once you decide to work on diaphragms or aperture variation, you know that your starting point is going to be a 5.4 f-stop. So yeah, so there you go. This is a really simple way to determine focal length and aperture of, of any piece of glass you have, actually, of any lens you, ha lens you have. And um, hopefully it was interesting and useful. It definitely will be useful for me in the project I'm working on. And I'll be coming up with other videos and uh, documenting the whole process of optimizing this camera that I'm building. And hopefully uh, this lens is going to be part of the, of the, of the final setup. So thank you for watching everyone and have a great day.